All right, so uh, we've built our, uh, we've successfully built Oreo. Uh, we've we've gotten past all of the uh, hiccups and hangups that we've seen uh, going through the build process, and now we're ready to put it on the uh, the phone. Uh, now that we've added our um, our key, uh, our uh, keymaster.mdt file from our uh, Sony uh, Xperia Compact that we stole that from. And uh, so let's uh, see if this one works a little bit better and see what uh, what we get. So I'm working on the phone here. I'm installing right now and uh, that's going to flash. And once that's done, I'm going to go ahead and uh, boot it up. And we'll pull a log cat and see what we get and hopefully we get uh, all the way uh, to the uh, to the desktop so I'll pause this video while we bring that up okay so first attempt at uh, boot up is not functional uh, we pull in the lobcat we can see I find it in here again for you we can see a repeating error <coughs> And that repeating error is, wait for it, I know it's in here. That's Android Runtime. The repeating error with uh, QCOM, there it is, QCCOM API. Notice it says, um, you know, the hardware keymaster at 3.0 implementation found keymaster module keymaster qcom how version 3 and then it's sitting there and says keymaster app is loaded, keymaster app got loaded and then it's all of a sudden says cannot open the file vendor a firmware keymaster keymaster.mdt uh, error loading the image and it's giving us uh, more and more errors with that so I'm actually going to uh, reboot this into recovery because I know how we can fix this so if you see something like that for yourself uh, here's uh, here's what you need to do so now, of course, this showed up in my thing there. So ADB shell, and, uh, and we're in recovery right now. And so what we can do is uh, we're going to mount dash uh, option read write system. We're going to change directory into system we're going to take a look at a few things but what I really want to do is uh, CD vendor uh, lib hardware and when we look in here we'll see this key store uh, MSM 8916. So this is giving us the problem and causing us to fail to boot um, so we can remove the key store itself and now by removing that we should be able to boot but we can also check see firmware and so we see you know it said it couldn't find the keymaster but the keymaster is there we have it in the right spot but the problem is that it's using this uh, key store MSM 8916.so file and it won't allow it to uh, find it so it can boot up. So by uh, deleting this key store it should now hopefully be able to boot. So ADB reboot. Don't have to worry about unmounting because it's going to automatically unmount anyways when you go to reboot. phone is rebooting. We see the uh, Lineage OS uh, boot animation. So I'm going to unselect it from here so I can pull logs Let's see if we have better luck this time.
looks like it's making some more progress, actually moving forward, which is good. Still a lot of errors that you can see popping up as it uh, goes along here. But we have the lineage uh, boot animation is completed, and now it is at the home screen. So let's grab it here in ADB control and take a look. Very nice. So yeah, now we're ready to check this thing out.